We've been here for like 30 minutes waiting for the lights to come on because daylight savings time. Hope you guys had a good holiday. So we're gonna wait for these lights to turn on and we'll get right back to you. What up guys? Welcome to the BMX News Channel. We're here at, what is this place called? Noble Park? Uh, Paducah, Paducah Skate Park. Skate Park. It's in Noble Park, Paducah, Kentucky. The park is pretty awesome, as you guys can see. Got my friend James up there, wanting to land everything. We have our bad days. But yeah, this place is pretty awesome, guys. But yeah. Um, we got a lot of things. This is our weekly update. If you guys want to find this video, you can find it in the weekly update playlist. But uh, here we go. We got a couple things to talk to you guys about. Sorry, I wanted to do it in a different format, but I was having editing, editing problems. So I actually do it in the stupid vlog format. So we'll do it. So yeah, first thing. I don't know if you guys heard, but I think it was one week ago. Uh, one week ago yesterday, there was. Um, or one week ago today, because it's Sunday on the 26th, uh, Jimmy Levan, Jimmy Levan went down on the trails in Oakhurst, California. And well, it was a pretty bad fall. They thought he had bleeding on the brain. Most of you guys might have heard about that, but uh, they said he had bleeding on the brain. Um, but I'm here to report to you guys that he's actually doing really well. He's recovering right now. They just thought he had bleeding on the brain because back in 2007, he almost died. Um, yeah, that was another thing. But if you guys don't know Jimmy Levan, you guys need to go right up there, right up into the search bar and search Jimmy Levan. He's pretty much the only Jimmy Levan in YouTube, which is really cool. Um, nice. Yeah, he's pretty much the only Jimmy Levan in YouTube. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's a heavy hitter. He's been around in BMX for a long time. He was on the cover of Ride BMX back in like 1996. Yeah, you're supposed to have helmets here. Got all these guys over there running because park rangers are coming. It's pretty funny. Nobody likes to wear helmets, but you know we got them on over here. But yeah, he was at Oakhurst, California, and he went down and he hurt himself pretty bad. Uh, but yeah, like I said, he uh, he shocked the community back in like 2007 because he went down really hard just before the Odyssey Electronical video uh, that they did. I think it might have been during or somewhere around when the Odyssey Electronical video came out that he was in. And because uh, if you guys didn't know, he rides for Odyssey. And uh, he also owns a company called Metal Bikes. So that's another thing you guys need to check out. Go check out metalbikes.com. But yeah, he's doing pretty good right now. He's recovering. He's gonna be back on the bike here really soon. He just had some head trauma from no helmet, but you know, you can't you can't force people to wear a helmet. What's another thing? Oh yeah, uh, Ray Molina. Uh, Ray Molina died last week. I don't know if you guys knew about that. He was a rider for Red Bull. He ended up dying last week. I'm not really too sure of uh, what happened, but I've been hearing about it. And uh, uh, yeah, if you guys want to, just go search up Ray Molina if you guys want to. I'll put the Instagram thingy somewhere over here. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to go search him up, watch his videos, man. He just passed away. He was a BMXer. He rode, like I said, he rode for uh, uh, rode for Red Bull, and he was pretty good, pretty good, dude. pretty cool dude. So you guys need to go check him out. What's another thing? Uh, oh yeah, Tony Nair. You guys probably heard about Tony Nair few months ago he ended up uh, it was kind of a freak accident if you guys don't know Tony Nair you guys should go up and uh, search him up too he rides for uh, Primo and Verde right now but um, yeah a couple months ago it was kind of a freak accident he was just riding in front of his house and uh, he was just riding in front of his house it's a freak accident he like fell I don't know if he got hit by a car or something but all I know is it was a freak a it was a freak accident and he hit his head ended up having brain surgery and uh, yeah, after the brain surgery, it was really bad. Everybody was all worried, you know, this was going to be the, the another death while it was going on. They're like, ah, oh, you know, because after Brett Benesay with Mad Dog, you know, hashtag Mad Dog, uh, after he uh, after he went down and suffered that brain damage, and he's been coming back, you know, which he's doing well. Also, I mean, he's learning how to ride a bike for the second time in his life after totally losing, you know, all motor function. But uh, he's actually doing really good too. But Tony Nair, uh, he's actually back. I'm reporting to you guys that he's he's back on the bike. And he's doing a couple things for uh, for Primo right now, and uh, so he's back. I mean, he's he's pretty much healed. I'm not exactly sure. He's probably got follow-up appointments and things like that. But he's pretty much healed right now. Um, so yeah, that's the injury updates for this week. What else we got? Oh yeah, I talked about Mad Dog. He, you guys probably all know about him. He's doing pretty good. Um, a couple things. We got some unreleased parts coming out. Um, sorry, I gotta, I'm doing it in this different format, so I gotta pull all this stuff up. Oh yeah, we got uh, Dylan Lloyd, we the people coming out with the 
uh, buck bars and the buck frame. The buck frame I think is coming in 20.75, 21, and 21.3 top tube with a 75.5 degree head tube angle. And they say it's supposed to have a higher standover height for the taller riders. But um, yeah, if you guys didn't know Dylan Lloyd, he's Canadian. He rides for uh, We The People. So the whole frame is kind of like a Canadian theme, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you get the red one, it's got, you know, the Canadian, like, uh, it's not really the Canadian flag. It's more or less like the, uh, the Canadian maple leaf uh, on the front of it. But it's, it's just, they consider Canada approved, you know, so. But yeah, that frame, it's, it's looking really awesome. It's gonna be a really nice frame when it comes out. And he's got matching bars to come out with it called the Buck Bars. I think they come in nine inch and nine and a quarter. Uh, yeah, but they come in 29 wide and they're gonna have, I think, either half inch or one inch little uh, slots on the end of the handlebar so you can cut it off. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's gonna be really awesome. Another thing, uh, Stevie Churchill has a signature headset, Primo headset coming out right now. It's gonna be like uh, the tall, um, the tall headset cap ver um, style. I think it comes in like dark red, gold, uh, silver, black, and I know, it, yeah, I, I saw a picture of Neochrome, or oil slick, whatever you guys wanna call it. So yeah, that's a couple things coming out. What else? Uh, got a couple new parts coming out. Let me look for these real quick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the new Federal Contact pedal coming soon. Yeah, this thing's gonna be awesome. It's the uh, uh, plastic 12 pins per side, micro knurling, deep concave for extra grip. But yeah, those come out here pretty soon. I'm not exactly sure when they come out, but check out fe uh, at Federal Bikes on Instagram. Or you can go right up here at federalbikes.com or search them right up here in the YouTube search bar and you can find them really easy. And uh, everything that I'm saying for you guys, all these names and everything, you can go straight up here in the search bar and you can search it really, really, really easy. And just everything that I'm talking about, you just search the name and it'll pop up. It's like the first thing in all the searches. Uh, what else? Federal Stance XL Rim. Uh, Federal just came out with these rims. Uh, they might have been out for a little while, but all I know is they're 40 millimeters wide. They are a really wide rim. Uh, from most people that I've been talking to, uh, cross lacing and like there's certain things you can do with a wider rim that uh, there's just like a, a plethora of things you can do with a wider rim, which is so awesome. Uh, what else? A couple other things. Uh, yeah, Federal Fox Leather Seat just came out. What else? What do we got unreleased? Oh, shit, I'm gonna see. Uh, yeah, December along with the, oh yeah, the buck bars and the buck frame, those are coming out in December. Those aren't out yet. Those are, uh, yeah, along with the, the Primo headset for Stevie Churchill signature Primo headset and then the uh, Dylan Lloyd signature uh, buck bars and buck frame are coming out in December. So, yeah. So I think, oh yeah, another thing coming out in December, the version two of the Surge CNC pedal from the Claw. The Claw's coming out with a version two of it. It's supposed to have uh, better like bushings on the inside. I don't, I don't think they have bearings in them. They, it uses a bushing, a ceramic bushing system. And then the, uh, the end has been, the end cap has been recessed in it. So you stop banging it up and everything like that. So actually I'm pretty, I, I like metal pedals myself. So I'm actually curious on what those are gonna look like when they come out, I wanna see them. Oh yeah, another thing, uh, Stevie Churchill's, also Stevie Churchill's, um, his birthday was last week by the way. So if you guys want to go hit him up at Stevie Churchill, go wish him a late happy birthday or go watch his videos or something. Um, also it was Tate Ross Kelly's birthday. If you guys didn't know, Tate Ross Kelly is considered, you know, one of the most creative BMXers in the world right now. He pretty much just pulls up to a spot and does like, like if we had a group of BMXers here and Tate Ross Kelly was here, it'd be so much different. But yeah, no, Stevie Churchill coming out with the version two, the new revised version of his Fireball tires. Uh, yeah, they're gonna be awesome, cloth Fireball tires. Uh, you guys probably remember them. They, uh, um, I think they came out for a little while in like a like a weird like spackle like color that had like all these black and colored grooves in them. But yeah, they're coming out with a revised um, tread from that. So it's gonna be, a, you know, better in Stevie Churchill's way, the way he likes them or whatever. So if you guys like Stevie Churchill's riding and you like his parts, his signature parts feel good to you, these are gonna feel awesome because they're revised to him even a little bit more. Oh, and Claude just also came out with their e-tool, another um, tool to add to the animal tool and um, the Merit three-in-one tool. Um, those things are really nice. If you guys don't have them, you guys really need to go look at some uh, multi-tools because they're really awesome. You can basically carry everything you need to fix your bike and take it apart in one little tool in your pocket. So those, those things are pretty awesome. What else we got here, guys? Oh, yeah. Sponsor block. If you guys didn't know, it's not really BMX, but Travis Pastrana just got signed with Sony Action Cam. So you guys are probably going to see a lot of Sony videos 
um, with Travis Pastrana, nit Nitro Circus in it, you know, Sony uh, endorsed and all that. So be on the lookout for that. Another thing coming out, uh, the Jake Seeley Sunday Signature Grip. The nice thing about these grips, the cool thing about these are, um, it's got a, uh, what do you call it? From one side to the other, it's, it's like a gradual thickness and it's designed so you can put them on both ways. So whichever way you like it, like if you like it thicker on the inside and thinner on the outside, or thicker on the outside, thinner on the inside, you can actually, they're made to flip either way. They don't come with a flange, so they're made so you can flip them either way and put them on. So yeah, those are gonna be really awesome. I uh, can't wait to see what those feel like. What else we got out? Oh yeah, the uh, Andrew Cast the Trip Collab Colorway, called Colorway, is available now. That just came out not too long ago. Um, what else did we got? Oh yeah, if you guys didn't know, um, if you guys been watching OSS and a lot of the On Some Shit stuff and uh, the come up, you guys probably heard of Xavier Wolf. He's the guy that does a lot of the, the, the music for OSS videos. Like if you've, if you've watched an OSS video, um, the person that did the music, his name is uh, Xavier Wolf, and if you guys didn't know, he's actually becoming a really badass BMXer now. He's just been working and working over the past year and a half, and I mean, he's being able to pull threes and grind, and he can do everything. He's just been hanging out with the crew, you know, just getting really good. I'm sure you guys have been keeping up on that, but if you want to, yeah, I mean, we're all family here, so if you guys want to, go right up there and search OSS up in the search bar. Or, uh, yeah, go watch. I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys the links to these videos. Also, there's another one. You've got to come to us. Scotty Cramner has his own uh, YouTube channel out. And then you got Adam LZ has his own YouTube channel out. And then uh, Adam Grand Mason with uh, OSS, on, uh, The Come Up, they have their own channel. So if you guys want to, down in the description, I'll give you guys the links to that so you guys can go watch that. You guys can just know everything that's going on with BMX. Uh, what else we got here? Mm, can't even think about it. Uh, Oh yeah, Demolition just released Christian Regal's new video. Go check it out. Um, Demolitionparts.com. Usually when they say they're out on the website, they're probably not on YouTube or come up. So if you guys want to go watch new Christian Regal's new Demolition video, go over to Demolitionparts.com. You can do that right now. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much the weekly update. Uh, it's more like a monthly update because it's our first one. So I'm kind of covering what happened last month in October and then you know it's it's November 1st right now so uh, we were just kind of covering what happened last month and then just kind of starting out so next week we're gonna have another weekly update uh, we're just gonna cover everything new everything that comes in new we're just gonna update it if there's an injury or there's a new product or if there's a competition or if there's just something crazy going on in BMX we're gonna talk about it every single week uh, we also got another thing uh, we're also gonna do like a, a weekly candy where if uh, any of you guys want to send in like a bike check of your video, like a video or a bike check, uh, you guys can do it over Instagram at BMX News Channel. Or if you guys want to hit up the BMX News Channel at gmail.com and send us your videos and everything. Uh, you guys, I mean, you can send us whatever you guys want, as long of a video as you want. You can send us riding videos or anything, but make sure if you send us a bike check, you uh, give us a list of all your parts that you have on it so you can easily do that. But yeah, guys. Do what? I just realized how loud that flat spot is. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. That's actually why I was doing it here, so like, I can have that like going you want, around. You want some you know, yeah, like I, you know, want want it going around, you know. But uh, but yeah, guys. If you like this video and you want to, you want to watch the more, go down, hit subscribe, like us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that. Um, yeah, next week, next Friday. Uh, we're going to have another video out. First try. I tried to like, literally look at the Woo! I was looking at the go.